Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. Right now we are in the cockpit of a BMW 1 Series and as you can see on the dashboard here we have the ABS light showing, that one there. We also have the traction light uh, and the brake warning light. Um, and what we need to do is actually diagnose the ABS system on this vehicle uh, to find out exactly where the fault is. Now to do that uh, we're going to use the BMW and Mini iCarsoft i910 scan tool. So we'll go through the menu here to try and diagnose the fault on this BMW 1 series. So it's in the chassis section. And the system we're going to try and diagnose is the DSC, that's the that's where the ABS system is located. So we're just going to read it to see if there are any faults showing up and if so where the fault is. Uh, oh no, sorry. Read trouble code is where we want to be. Communication, so, right, so that's the one we believe to be the fault. Uh, 5 Delta Bravo 0, wheel speed sensor, supply, rear left. So it looks like we need to change the ABS sensor on this uh, BMW 1 Series. Uh, rear left, so that's on a UK right hand drive, it's the passenger's rear. Uh, which appears to be the problem and I do know sort of that this is a common fault with the uh, the BMW 1 series and 3 series um, So we'll get we'll go out there. We'll remove the old ABS sensor We'll put a new ABS sensor in and then we should be in a position then to come back into the vehicle erase the fault codes and that ABS light should be removed from the dashboard All right, so we've taken the uh, Wheel off the 1 series here. As you can see it's jacked up there and the ABS sensor itself, if you can see this uh, lead here, you follow it behind the hub, you'll see that it plugs in uh, right there. So that's the bolt that you need to undo right there. And if you follow it, it goes there, underneath here, right the way around there. And then it plugs in behind this material here. So what you want to do is take a 10 mil, just undo this. see the ABS sensor right there so you can just unplug that very easy and there you see the ABS sensor just comes out unravels so we'll put the new ABS sensor in and then we'll go back into the vehicle and try and clear the codes and reset the dash light this is the new ABS sensor um, notice the part number Generally it will be the same on your vehicle, but um, it might not always be the case, so you might need to double check it. Um, it came from www.bavariandominator.co.uk That's a good price. Um, I've used them before for ABS sensors, so definitely give it a try. So we'll get this hooked up. Okay, so we're at a stage now where we've just put the new ABS sensor back in there and it's slotted back in. So what we need to do is cover the connection back up. Okay, so we're back in the vehicle now having just changed over the ABS sensor. Uh, the ABS sensor itself wasn't so difficult to replace uh, but we've put the new one in there so what we're going to do now is go through the notions of actually uh, resetting the fault code and hopefully you should see the, uh, the ABS light disappear. So we're going to go diagnose, it's a BMW 1 series. We're going to scroll down to chassis. And then remember it's the DSC. And 
and then we're going to erase trouble codes and you should see the ABS light disappear. There we go. Pretty quickly, very easy to do, uh, but you can see the main thing is that the faults have been cleared and the ABS light has disappeared from the dashboard. So that is a success. So the ABS sensor themselves is available from www.bavariandominator.co.uk uh, or you can uh, just click the link directly below this video uh, to find the iCarsoft i910 scan tool. Thanks for watching this video.